I think it's really neat when you can look at the next generation of young girls and be able to tell them that they can have all of it, that they can have the beauty and the brains and the beast inside of them. And to be able to be competitive uh, on the field or in whatever sport that they're, they're choosing to do and be soft and gentle and be feminine when they want to be and be able to study what they want and play what they want. It was really quite special. It's one of a kind event where we have professional cheerleaders, professional dancers, professional basketball players all coming together. First part of the event is a seminar for young ladies, so we invited women that really excel in their lives, and they're gonna speak to the young ladies about what it means to be beautiful inside and out, and then the young ladies are gonna have cheer, dance, and basketball camps where they're gonna learn from professionals, and they're really gonna get the chance to spend the entire day with them and really just embrace who they are. A lot of kids, especially young women, need to hear the, the messages about self-esteem and self-confidence. It's so important. I was so excited when I got to take part in this, and I think because I look at myself when I was a young girl, and I was so shy, so timid, I was so unsure of who I was. When you look at a lot of the young girls out there, they're kind of trying to figure themselves out, and I think it's nice for them to be able to see the women that have gone through it and have been in their shoes, and to be able to talk about our experiences and where we failed and where we succeeded and how we achieved what we had. Most girls between the age of 9 and 16, 50% of them say they wish they were someone else. And that's not okay. Young girls have to be okay with who they are. If they're shy, if they're outgoing, if they're tall, if they're short, it doesn't matter. So I think we really need groups like this and campaigns like this to really help change that statistic. As a woman, as a professional basketball player, and now as a mom, I'm trying to install in the young ladies. You can be beautiful and still dominate in a sport and vice versa. I think it's important as a woman to empower other young women to embrace their inner beauty and beast and it's okay to be either one. Being a beauty and a beast is exactly that. It's not being one or the other and I think that's such an important message for children, especially for girls and for women. You don't have to be one or the other. We're here to bring out the best in them, so we want them to have fun, we want them to feel confident, and I think it can just make you a little bit more outgoing. You might come in at the beginning of the day, um, a little standoffish, a little shy, but by the end of the day, like, you'll Not be right up there with us. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay to be who you are, and if you, you know, you think you're different or you think you're weird, embrace that, because your weirdness is kind of cool and kind of unique. I think sport teaches us so much. So it was nice to be able to share my story of meeting one of my biggest rivals at the age of 15 at a competition in Detroit and being fierce competitors and yet realizing when the competition was done, we were more alike than we were different. And when you can accept that and realize that in your competitors, then you can create these really wonderful relationships that are going to push you uh, and inspire you to be better at, well, at the same time having a best friend to be able to share the experience with. And so I wanted the girls to understand that at the end of the day, they're probably going to be your best motivators and supporters as well. I think it's wonderful that they've been able to bring this organization and this campaign to Ottawa. I know it's been in other cities, but to see it established here in Ottawa will be really good and hopefully to see this grow and that more clubs and more athletes and more uh, kind of just the general public are aware of it and that we can get more girls inspired. One of the most rewarding things I do are events like this because when I was doing camps, no one was talking about self-confidence or self-esteem. So I think it's just a well-rounded message, this entire camp. These young ladies are put into a great environment with great mentors. I hope they feel that they can achieve whatever it is that they set out for. Sometimes these goals and these ambitions can seem so out of reach, but every step, tiny, even if it's like the tiniest little inch-like movements forward, is way better than not even accepting or saying it out loud that they have this goal that they want to achieve in the first place. So I hope they just leave a little inspired and just feeling like, you know, there is the beauty and the beast inside of all of them.